Hello, I'm Dr. Patrick Gannon. Performing in public, on demand, and under pressure can be the most challenging aspect to your professional life. When things don't go well, it's often due to performance anxiety. Performance anxiety goes by many names. Stage fright, choking, freezing up, some even call it their deer in the headlights moment. If you're a musician, a public speaker, or a competitive athlete, you know when that happens because it often disrupts your performance. No matter how well you practice or prepare, having anxiety usually limits peak performance. Even if you're not a skilled musician or a professional athlete, there are still many situations in daily life that require a high level of performance. For example, giving a speech to a sales team or making a pitch for venture capital money, interviewing for a job, taking a standardized test to get into college or graduate school, even common situations such as giving a speech at your friend's wedding or speaking up at a community meeting. When problems occur, it is often caused by anxiety that's triggered by the situation itself. We now know that performance anxiety has multiple underlying sources, many of which are outside of the awareness of the performer himself. But if it's never adequately treated, the symptoms of performance anxiety are like likely to persist for many, many years. But first, let's take a step back. Performance anxiety has been largely misunderstood by the sport and clinical psychology field, and as a result, we've had mixed success in treating it effectively. Because standard treatments have often fallen short, many people, especially professional performers, have simply had to live through it, trying to not let it affect their performance. But that's very difficult to do. Many performers have come to rely on beta blocker medications such as Enderol to help reduce the physiological symptoms of anxiety. But performance anxiety lists a total of 50 different symptoms across five categories. And these medications do little to help reduce the cognitive or the psychological or the behavioral symptoms of anxiety, many of which are the most bothersome to performers. Now, some of you may be visiting this website today because you've decided once and for all that you're going to get the help you need to reduce these symptoms. Unfortunately, today we know much more about what performance anxiety is and how best to treat it. In many cases, it will take only a handful of sessions to reduce the symptoms while improving your confidence in performing your best. My program starts out with a total assessment of all the performance anxiety symptoms you're facing, and then we build a treatment plan from there. We will develop a plan to target those symptoms using some new brain-based techniques called EMDR and cardio imagery and rehearsal. But first, take a look around the website, click on the service menu for the types of activities that you want to improve on. You can view videos of my work with a variety of performers that demonstrate these state-of-the-art techniques. We can plan to meet in the San Francisco Bay Area if you're located here, or if not, we can use Skype for online appointments. I know you might have questions, so I'd like to offer a free 30-minute consultation to help you determine if I could be of help. You can email me here or call my office at 415-751-8927 to set up a time to talk. Thanks for listening.